Oh, okay. I've had a, a night to think about this game. <laughs> and the conclusion still is, <laughs> oh, why does Toronto suck? <laughs> like, how do we lose to another bottom-feeding team? They're terrible. Columbus is terrible. And the Leafs are even worse when they play them. Toronto can't beat a bad team. They... They lose 6-5 last night to Columbus in overtime. They've already lost 6-5 in overtime to Columbus. They scored five goals in the third period last time. They lost 6-5 to Columbus and then still lost. And then they beat them and we're like, okay, maybe they've, they've handled their, their business against Columbus. And then they do this. But this time they give up the lead. Um, so that means they're 1-2 they're and two on the season versus Columbus in this little mini-series that they've had, right? Three games and like the last, what, seven days or something like that? I don't know what they said. But, okay. Sorry, 1-0-2 oh, because they lost two overtime games. Um, how? How? Speaking of the miniseries, though, before we get actually into the game, I like these little miniseries. Uh, you know, three games in a short span. It, it develops rivalries, right? They already kind of had one from, like, the bubble season when Columbus also beat Toronto. Um, but I really like that. That's how you should develop the rivalries, not this whole divisional playoff thing. Go back to one to eight, develop, <laughs> develop rivalries this way in a mini series style. And then the one to eight system in the playoffs is actually cooler because there might've been a little mini series rivalry starting to build in the regular season. But um, Toronto loses, six, five in OT. And this is kind of how it went. First period, Toronto, they dominated. Toronto dominated, uh, outshot to Columbus 14-4. Uh, Mitch Marner scores to make it one nothing. A little Riley trying to feed over to Nyes. It hits the defenseman foot. I might have been pro overall. Goes to the um, sorry Marner taps it in. Cool one nothing. Um, and then it's one one after Lilligrim goes behind the net. Boom hit his tire. Hit his tire. He fell. He fell. Tire hit a curb. I don't know. His skate blade just went out from under him. <coughs> behind the net. Cylinder eventually scores because the Leafs lose their defensive positioning and he's there and he snipes. He snipes, makes it 1-1. But not long after that, Austin Matthews scores. He snipes it short side to make it 2-1 and we're good. Toronto's outplaying them, developing more chances. Um, I, think, I think the Leafs have this. And then we go into the second period. Uh, Robertson scores, first time in, I don't know, what feels like a year. Beautiful tip goes to the side net. Little tip, boom, goal, 3-1. Then, not long after that, it might have been two, two and a half minutes, Gaunt scores, and it was like a three on two rush. And then it got fed through, and it ended up being like a two on oh. He shoots it. Sammy gets that right arm up, whatever arm, and the puck floats up, lands behind him. Goal, three two. That kind of sucked, but don't worry, William Nylander scores from a terrible angle, but just snipes it. Boom. Top corner over Martin, who took over from Rizikins. And that made it 4-2, and we're like, yeah, we got this. And then there was, it was Yarncroak and I forget who, <coughs> going at it, going at it. They both get sent to the box, it was 4-on-4, four four. then Mitch Marner trips someone, so then it was 4-on-3, and then Vorokov is just like massive. He looks like seven foot out there, and he's in front of Sammy, and he's like lifting his arms up, and he's like blocking his viewpoint, right? And then he puts stick down, then his arms go up again. And he's doing that, I'm like, this piece of shit. This is actually very clever. And then he makes a beautiful tip to make it 4-3. And then Kent Johnson gets left all alone in front of the net with three Leafs behind the net. Um, they lose the puck battle to one player and Johnson goes, I got this puck. Samson off bites because he thinks he's gonna shoot right away and he just goes to his back and scores and it's 4-4. And we're like, wow, this is crap for the Leafs. But then they get a, a gift at the end, of the, um, the end of the period. I think it was too many men. Everyone was looking at like a penalty against someone, <coughs> like a holding. They were saying on the broadcast, like, this doesn't make sense. And then you look and there was like, oh, there's six Columbus Blue Jackets out there. And then Tavares wins a draw. I think it was Nylander who shot it. And tip by Tavares makes a 5-4. I'm like, yeah, we got this. Cool. And then Columbus outplays Toronto majority of the third period. This is the only time Columbus, I believe, outshot Toronto in the game. Um, and Fantilli scores. He... He's fast. He's big and fast. Um, he's got a mouth on him. 
you can see why like officials are like Jesus Christ shut up kid he has like a very like Sidney Crosby at the beginning of his career where he's just like mouthy and just complaining all the time but hey you backed it up tonight I think it was his 10th goal of the year um, so he's top three in rookie scoring obviously no one's gonna catch Bedard <coughs> but he does like a little toe drag release kind of like Austin Matthews just not as good and the shot goes in over the pad under the blocker and you're like oh that's a good shot and then you watch the replay and you're like Samson I should have had that like yeah he shot it through McKay but he was still quite far out like McKay played all right with that and Samson just get your body in front of it you should have that he scores that makes it 5-5 and then Toronto's like oh we're tied now I guess we should try again but Martin stops everything and Columbus clears the front of the net <clears throat> not saying Toronto didn't do that like Austin Matthews made a few uh key plays in front of his own net for saves. I think Lilligren did one as well when the puck was just sitting there, almost on the goal line. Um, but I have here, yeah, Martin makes some big saves. And Toronto just couldn't put it by him. So we go into OT, lots of chances uh, for Toronto. You think they're going to finish? And then, uh, oh, look at that. Johnny Goudreau scores. Uh, it's a draw one by Columbus. There's kind of like a um, pile up in the dot. Nylander goes in to get the puck. He falls, so two Leafs are down. Tavares is down. Nylander's down. Defenseman has the puck. I think it was Severson. Riley goes out to Severson so he doesn't get that free shot. Severson with the pass, the pass shots, like the wrist shot pass. Goudreau, he wasn't tipping it. Just corrals it, goes to his backhand, puts it in the open net. 6-5, Toronto loses. Yep, that's what I got here. Oh, what did I write down? Oh, this is the first time... The core four all score, right? Mitch Marner scores, Austin Matthews scores, Neil Ender scores, then Tavares. And then Nick Robertson gets the monkey off his back. But core four score, going into this game, they were 5-0. and oh. It's the first time on the road that the core four had scored in a game. And they end up losing. So now they're 5-1 and one with all four of them scoring. I'm sorry, but if Tavares, Neil Ender, Marner, and Matthews all score, you win the freaking game. And then Nick Robertson, five goals should win you the game. Like Samsonov, I'm pretty sure he's averaging in his last four or five games, five goals against. I think I read something like he's the only goalie who's had at least 10 starts. And he has the worst save percentage, which is like an 840. What the hell? $3.55 million, this guy. Like Keith even said, like, it's up to Brad what he's going to do. But obviously he needs to look into goaltending. Like Wall is hurt. Do they want to call up Dennis Hildeby? He's doing amazing in the AHL, but it's his first year. Do you want to throw him to the Wolves right now? Probably not. But Martin Jones, even though he's had a few good games, he's had some uh, moments. No. Samsonov right now? No. How? This is the same guy who beat and outplayed Andre Vasilevsky last year for Toronto to win their first series in ever. And now look at him. What has happened? What has happened? He might need to pull a Jack Campbell and be in the AHL and, and stay there, stay there. He had four goals on 11 shots going into the third. He allowed six goals on 21 shots total. What are you gonna do? Now, did Toronto play good in front of him? For majority of the time, yes. The only problem is when they had lulls in their game and they gave prime scoring chances other than <coughs> Sammy had a nice glove save on Sillinger and then he had another like good pad save, if I can remember correctly, a good pad save and then Matthews might have blocked the, the rebound. He had two or three really good saves in the game of his 21 shots he faced. But he still allowed six goals. That can't be. Like, was Toronto... Did Toronto make some mistakes that led to all those goals? Yes. Yes. And they should be like, we effed up. We need to be better for Sammy. But Sammy needs to be better for them as well. He needs to make one, two, three of those saves. The Fantilli goal can't go in. It can't. But then Toronto also can't mess up defensively and just having, like, like when Lilligren fell down, right, no one covered for him. Or, and then it was like, they all got in scramble mode. Like, oh no, the one player's not here. Where do we go now? Oh no, the puck's in our net. Or like the Johnson goal, why do we have three guys deep in our own zone and no one covering the forwards still had their, they were late to come in, no one had covered Johnson. It's just, it's that stuff that's frustrating. And then, you know, the Fantilli goal kind of like, you know, they 
They've given you the lead again, Sammy. Don't let another one in. Oh, shoot, you did. Ah, it's just it's just frustrating. I don't know what they're going to do. Like, Everyone's like, make a trade. What, so they can get absolutely destroyed on the trade market because teams know they need a goalie? Oh, so Jones is going to start versus Carolina tonight? Oh, God, I miss Joseph Wall. Hildeby might be the option. Are we just going to go? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, good thing I'm just a fan that 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 rants on camera now because my wife doesn't want me to, to rant to her. She's sick of me. She's sick of it. Sick of hearing about the Leafs and how like they can be so great and then so bad at the same time. The core four scored in one game and they still lost 6-5. They lost 6-5 to Columbus, who's a terrible team. Again, that shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. Toronto, you're so much better than this. Why? Why? I got I got nothing else. I play Carolina tonight. Let's let's see what happens, yeah? Let's see what happens. Sorry, buddy. Did I did I knock you down? I'm gonna put you right back here. No, no. You got squeak on the chair. You're right there. See that smile? See that smile? That's gonna be tonight. That's gonna be me and my face tonight when Toronto beats the Carolina Hurricanes. You heard it here first. Seen it here. Look at that smile. That's gonna be me. Yes, Toronto can beat Carolina. Maybe, unless Carolina puts in the Zamboni driver. Then Toronto will definitely lose if they put in the Zamboni driver, for sure. But we'll see what happens tonight. Anyway, take care, everyone. Have a, a great weekend, and come on, Toronto. Get back in the win column. Go Leafs, go.